Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Aisyah Adila binti Zamsari. Hi, my name is Nur Izzat Lina binti Muhammad Nur. Hi, my name is Nur Eliza Natasha binti Aminti. We are from class AS1201U. Uh, we are part 1 student in Diploma Science, Faculty of Applied Science. We would like to present our experiment 4 in Physics Subject Code PHY110 which is frictional force. Okay, the first one is objective. The objective is to determine the coefficient of static friction of different surface. Next, introduction. When one body makes an attempt to slide over another body, an opposing force called the force of friction arises as a reaction to the applied force and acts in the opposite direction. Static friction is a type of friction that exists when two objects touch each other at rest. It has a limiting value called limiting friction, which is equal to the less force required to move the body from rest. When the external force F is increased, a stage comes when the body is just at the risk of moving. At this stage, the force of friction is at the maximum and is called limiting friction. It is found experimentally that limiting frictional force. Normal force. The normal force is a typical example of the Newton's third law of motion. If one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts a force of equal magnitude and opposite direction on the first object. Action equal reaction. So, a normal force is equal to the force exerted by the object on the surface. Normal force is a contact force. If two surfaces are not in contact, they can exert a normal force on each other. For example, the surface of a table and a box cannot exert normal force on each other if they are not in contact. This is the force of kinetic friction act to oppose the motion of the object. So if you push something forward, friction pushes it backwards. The kinetic friction Force only applies to an object that is moving hence kinetic and is otherwise known as sliding friction. This is the force that opposes sliding motion, pushing a box across floorboards and there are specific coefficient of friction for this and other types of friction, such as solid friction. The other major type of friction between solids is static friction and this is the resistance to motion caused by the friction between a steel object and a surface. The coefficient of static friction is generally larger than the coefficient of kinetic friction, indicating that the force of friction is weaker, weaker for objects that are already in motion. Here, the difference between static friction and kinetic friction. Apparatus. This is uh, the apparatus that we use in this experiment. Wooden block, 50 gram mace, 10 newton spring scale, string and tabletop. Procedure for our experiment is 1. The mass of wooden block measure and recorded as M. 2. The apparatus set up as shown beside. 3. The tabletop must table and horizontal to the ground. 4. The spring scale and the wooden block attached with a string. 5.5 g mass placed as wooden block. 6. The spring pulls, pulls slowly. Once the block moves, the spring scale reading recorded. The value recorded as FS in timetable. 7. Step 4 until 5 repeated for 3 trials. 8. Another 50 g 
added on the wooden block and step 5 to 6 repeated. The step re repeated until total of M uh, equal to 500G on the wooden block. 9. Step 1 to 8 repeated but this time make sure the rubber side of the block facing upward. Data tabulated in the timetable. The result for mass of wooden block with rubber surface M equal 107 plus minus 1 gram. Next is the result for mass of wooden block without rubber surface 106 plus minus 1 gram. The first analysis for this experiment is draw and label the free body diagram of the wooden block. Graph of static friction force F against normal force and for the rubber surface. Graph of static friction force F against normal force and for the non rubber surface. And then we continue use the gradients obtained from the graph to calculate the coefficient of static friction for each surface. And then we continue compare and discuss the coefficient of static friction obtained. The coefficient of static friction obtained for the mass of a wooden block with a rubber surface is 0 0.9168. Meanwhile, for the mass without a rubber surface is 0 0.9255. A higher coefficient of friction means that more friction force is present relative to the normal force. Static friction is a term we use to observe the fact that it usually takes more force to set an object into motion that it takes to keep moving once you have cut its start. This means the mass of the wooden block with a rubber surface needs the less force to move the wooden block than the mass without a rubber surface. Question number one. How can antilock braids stop a car in a shorter distance than regular braids? The wheel speed sensor gives the ABS system the necessary information to determine the regular braids. Wheel speed sensors pressure release valve and hydraulic motor a controller. Number 2. From your experiment, which material has the highest coefficient of static friction? Does this agree with your hypothesis? What do you think determines the coefficient of static friction? The answer is, the highest coefficient of static friction is the wooden surface. This agrees with our hypothesis, which states the wood surface has a higher coefficient of static friction than cement floor surface. The coefficient of static friction is determined by normal force of the object acting on the surface. Wood surfaces are rounder than smooth cement floor surface. Therefore, the normal force accepted by the object on the wooden surface is higher than a cement floor surface. So, the force applied to pull the object is also greater and on the wooden surface then on the cement floor surface. The third question is, once the mass begins to slide, does it move smoothly or does it undergo stop and go motion? Explain the motion. It moves smoothly when the mass begins to slide. Yes, it is the experience stop and go movement on both surfaces. This means that static friction responds to what we do. The increases to be equal to and in the opposite direction of the push. When we push hard enough, the quick seems to slip suddenly and start to move. Now static friction gives way to kinetic friction. Once in motion, it is easier to keep in motion than it was to get it started, indicating that the kinetic frictional force is less than the static frictional force. When we add mass to the crate, say by placing a box on top of it, you need to push even harder to get it started and also to keep it moving. 
discussion. A force that offers a mobility or attempts at the motion of one surface across another is called friction. Friction is influenced by the weight and surface materials of the object. The friction increases with block weight friction, however, is independent of the size of the surface that are in contact. This may be seen by looking at set one's graph, which shows that while friction floats when experimenting with different materials or weights, it stays the same when experimenting with different areas. It is assumed that the friction force is proportional to the friction coefficient. This friction coefficient, a static friction coefficient, and a kinetic friction coefficient are good for a specific pair of surface. The force need to start an object moving from a position of rest is larger than the force need to maintain the motion after it has begun. As a result, kinetic friction is less than static friction. When rolling rods are employed in the set three experiment, there is very little friction that may be regarded as substantial. As a result, even if is the coefficient of static friction were zero, there would still be no sliding. This is because the table is horizontal and there is no component of force tangent to the surface. As a result, there is no static friction force near the point of contact. The relative velocity between the force surface and the horizontal surface is completely normal to the end. As a result, there is no kinetic friction force. As a result, there is no there is no static friction force near the point of contact. The relative velocity between the both surface and the horizontal surface is completely normal to the plane. As a result, there is no kinetic friction force. Consequently, we may state we may we may state that for the same combinations of surface, static friction is superior to kinetic friction and rolling friction. It is it is better when one person pushes the blocks. Three times because the force used in this experiment when pulling the block varies. A larger and more sensitive dynamometer will be required in the future because some aspect on the experiment cannot be assessed. This increases the data's accuracy and reduces its error. And the lastly is the conclusion. I appreciate your attention today for listening to our presentation and that brings us to the end. I'd like to thank you for your time and attention today. Thank you so much for your interest and attention for listening to our presentation.